topics, but one thing he mentioned was trying to get the popular Sundance Film Festival to come to the Queen City. Joining me here in studio is Tim Clark with the Buffalo Niagara Film Commission. Tim, uh, we know this festival is exploring the possibility of getting out of Utah, but right. really, what's the likelihood that it would ever come to Buffalo? Well, it's pretty good. It's, uh, you know, they say you got to buy the ticket to win the Powerball, right? So uh, I think we are uh, strategically placed both geographically and as far as the number of venues. Uh, we're going to be working very um, uh, closely, I think, with Patrick Kaler and the Visit Buffalo Niagara, as well as John Percy up at uh, Niagara USA, to find out, you know, to see if the room count and all the things could uh, could occur. But I just heard in a news story just before uh, when you opened the show about the Pan American Exposition, and uh, the, the uh, interviewer or interviewee said that it brought a, an absurd amount of people to Buffalo to fill hotel rooms, and that's exactly what this would be. More than the eclipse attracted. Uh, yeah, this would be really hundreds of thousands of people. It's not just festival goers, it's, it's artists, musical artists, it's movie stars, it's sponsors. These giant companies come in and take over big buildings and so forth. All right, now you just said mm -hmm. if you want to win the Powerball, you got to buy the ticket. Right. I'm curious, do cities bid on this, like the Olympics, do you have to pay out to get it, and how much would you have to pay? Well, that is true. The devil is in the details. We don't know, um, as far as I know. Uh, what I understand is that the, um, Tom Fontana, who is a famous uh, playwright and um, um, you know writer and creator from Buffalo, mm -hmm. contacted the mayor, talked to him, and um, and it kind of went from there. He had this idea of bringing it here. He he's probably well. He will be leading the industry charge on this. And uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. It's held what what time of year usually? It's in late January. Oh, but remember, boy. wait a minute. No, no. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I, I, oh, wait a minute. It's up and right now it's in a snowier place than oh, Buffalo. That's true. So, okay. and believe me, they don't handle the snow as good as our snow uh, fleet here uh, handles it. So, I, I've been there many, many times. It's often colder in Sundance or in Park City, Utah, where Sundance is held now. And it's also uh, they don't do roads like we do roads. It's very treacherous there. Uh, okay, so if, if the weather is no obligation right. or, or no, um, no, no uh, you know what I'm trying to say, if that's yeah. not going to work against us here. No, I think um, it'll work for us. Okay, all right, what else would work for us specifically? Well, Niagara Falls to the north, uh, the National Comedy Center and the home of Lucille Ball to the south, right? George Eastman House in Rochester uh, is uh, the birthplace, really, of motion picture film. Sure. And I spoke with the Rochester Film Commissioner today, and uh, she's all in. She's excited about the possibilities because this doesn't affect just Buffalo. This affects all of Western New York and in other cities. People will be flying uh, from Paris, from London, and they'll be landing in Toronto, for instance, uh, directly, and then taking the hour trip down south to Buffalo. And, and, we really, if we got something like this, this would be, we really haven't had anything quite like this, right? It's the Super Bowl of the film industry. Right. And it's, uh, it's something that Ro Robert Redford uh, sort of uh, gave it a big boost back in the 1980s when he jumped on and he got behind it. It was a platform and still is a platform for independent filmmakers. Hey, maybe he could go to bat for us, if you know what I mean. Oh, I do know what you mean because <laughs> Barry Levinson, the director of The Natural, which was shot here just about the time that Sundance was birthed, uh, he is the creative uh, partner with, uh, business partner with Tom Fontana. Yeah. So we're hoping to kind of make the Redford connection all the way around. I saw uh, Robert Redford a few years ago at the Sundance Film Festival, and he had very good memories of Buffalo, for, indeed. And I'm sure Bill Fichtner's pitching this. Too. Oh, yeah, Bill Fichtner and, uh, you know, a number of other Hollywood luminaries uh, were uh, co uh, calling and uh, seeing if uh, they'd uh, put a word in, a good word in for us. We have to see that packet, though, first, and the packet won't... Uh, as I understand, won't be here till about May 7th. And then, then that's where they list all, all the things that they need, and we have to then start checking boxes. But so far, we know that we do check most of those. All right. Well, Tim Clark, Commissioner of the Buffalo Niagara Region Film Commission, yeah. uh, thank you so much for Well, a pleasure to be here, David, as right. always. Always nice to see you.